So recently, my dear husband and I, maybe a few days ago, were having an argument about whose hobby is better, his being video games and mine being obviously sewing. So we were talking and talking and arguing and obviously that's kind of in a silly manner, but still, we were arguing. And I said, well, what is the product of you playing an hour of video games? He was like, well, you know, I'm just enjoying myself. What is the product of you an hour sewing? I'm like, well, for the hour that you're playing video games, I can actually make this little baby said for Artemis. And Artemis was just sitting there in a high chair eating her apple, having absolutely no idea what mom and dad are talking about. And he said, no way, you cannot make that in an hour. And I said, excuse me? Absolutely, I can make that little baby set consisting out of two pieces of clothing in an hour. He said, yeah, prove it. I said, all right, challenge accepted. And that's what this video is going to be about. We're gonna prove my husband wrong. Let's get started. So the hair goes up and the timer goes on. Let me tell you what time it is right now. It's 10.39 p.m. So at 11.39 p.m., an hour from now, I should have two complete baby garments. That gives me an hour to cut, to assemble, to sew, um, and to do everything else. So, ow, and to film the studio too. <laughs> so this win, if I win, uh, better be super sweet. And of course, as I always say, enjoy your time sewing. I usually never rush. I don't ever put a timer on myself, but today is a different story. So let me tell you my plan. All right, I got my needles, my scissors, my measuring tape if needed, my patterns, my teeth. So I gotta do a top and the bottoms. Okay, so for the top, I keep my ringer T stuff all together over here, free song pattern, as you guys know. And then for the bottoms, you know what? I was thinking to make this free sewing pattern by one of the Russian website, Mama Shula Moloshu, which I really like. Oh, this is a ringer tee too. But I'm actually gonna go with the baby leggings. Um, and I actually don't have the size that I need, so I'm just gonna cut them a little bit bigger on the fly. We're just gonna do it on the fly. And to make it even sweeter, and more challenging for myself, I'm gonna use up my remnants, which always takes a little bit of time of figuring out how do I need to cut these pieces. It's not making it easy on myself, of course, but we're gonna do this. Remnants. 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 Let's see what I have over here. Let's see what I have over here. Oh, this might actually be enough for, oh, this could be cute, okay. This might actually be enough for a baby t-shirt for Artie. And we can use, uh, uh, geez. <laughs> there we go, I got this. Okay, uh, this could be good for like a hem. And you know what, Ooh, this is gonna be loud. I know that here I have this fabric that would actually be pretty cute. Two pinks together, why not? So the time right now is 10.53, you know what that means? That means that we gotta get going, guys. All right, so we are gonna start by cutting everything out all at once because that way it's going to be so much easier for me just to get started on sewing and assembling everything at once as well. Alrighty guys, right now time is 11.11. 11. I have cut all my pieces. I actually did not have enough of this pink polka dotted material, uh, which is stretch cotton from Hobby Lobby for the back side of the t-shirt. So I had to cut it out of white. Um, and then I cut the leggings, uh, which again, I needed to extend the size. And then I forgot that I actually needed to uh, cut the, um, a little uh, cuff for the bottom because my daughter, she's a little bit on the, on the taller side, so I always like to add a cuff on the bottom so that way I can roll it up uh, if it's a little bit too big and when she grows up, I can roll it down and I can still get some uh, wear out of the leggings. And I have about 20 some minutes left to assemble this thing. So without any further ado, let's just get started. And I'll tell you this, you know what? This is actually pretty stressful. I feel like, you know, one of those designers on reality TV shows like Project Runway when they're like, okay, designers, you only have like three hours left and 
it's stressful. Let me tell you this. So now I understand all the uh, all the emotions running hot and everything else. So it's definitely not fun. So let's get these onto the serger, done and dusted, because I only have 20 some minutes left for that. Oh, I haven't actually made these baby baby leggings in a while, while, so I have to remember how do I assemble these. All right, I'm doing it. If I would make a mistake right now, this would be a disaster because I would need to redo it and it always slows you down and that cannot happen. I am doing this. Your challenge, your challenge, making two pieces in an hour. Don't distract me right now. Are you recording? Yes. I love you. I love you too. I was just getting ready to voice, so. Okay. I will tell you right now. It is 11.18. I have till 11.39 to complete this. So in 21 minutes, you'll be able to do the voiceover for your stuff. You know what? This cuff might be too wide. Ugh. Might need to like cut it and recut it. Oh, come on now. Yeah, it's like way too wide and ugly, so. Ay, ay, ay. Oh no, guys. I don't like this cuff either. <laughs> this is not working out. This is not working out the way I need it to work out. Okay, it's all right. We're gonna make this happen. We're gonna make this happen. Okay, now I have to rethink this whole thing over here. Okay, we're gonna do these thicker cuffs. Do I have enough? And I have what? I have like 20 minutes left. This is insane. I should, <laughs> I should have never done this. This is insane. Okay, so now she's gonna have a three quarter sleep. doing I am totally freaking out and I'm not even following the like what am I doing tighter needs to be tighter Never ever so in a race. My eye is literally twitching right now. So. <laughs> oh, why do I do things like that to myself? Uh, silly couple's argument, which led to this thing. Who would have thought? And of course, you know, those things that take the most patience and most precision, like inserting a, a neck band and stuff like that, uh, are the last pieces of the puzzle. So uh, yeah, good luck, Alisa, good luck. Okay, sleeves are going in. <laughs> I have 16 minutes left. 16 minutes, guys. 12 minutes left. Four minutes left. The sweatshirt is done and ready. I just have to figure this out. <laughs> what am I doing here with these things? And I have, it is 11.46. I have three minutes left. Oh guys, I so don't wanna admit that it didn't work out for me, but 
Um, I think I just hit, you know, a few mistakes on my on my way that um, I did not expect to make. Uh, I'm not giving up yet. You know what? My husband interrupted me, so uh, maybe we can get extra bonus minutes for that. 48 minutes. 48 minutes. I have one minute left. Oh yeah, this cuff is just so much better than the other one. So much better, like just night and day. The other one just was a little ugly. Watch, my husband is gonna come in right now and say, Whoa, it's 11.49 p.m. and you haven't done this. 11.49, there we go. Hands up, hands up, 11.49. <sighs> Literally, I have like one, two, three seams left. Three seams left to do. I'm gonna finish this. It's gonna take me like extra five minutes, which uh, maybe even like three minutes, which would be okay if I wouldn't have made that mistake. You know what? I'm, pr I'm pretty proud of these. These are these are looking good and sharp and neat too. So I'm pretty happy about that. I hope you got a kick out of it. Uh, and I'm gonna clean up. I'm gonna go and make myself a good cup of tea to relieve this twitchy eye. And I'm gonna have a relaxing evening. It's almost midnight here, so I think I deserve a good relaxing evening, maybe a slice of cake or something, you know? I hope you got a kick out of it. I'll see you on the next challenge accepted episode for something fun, interesting, probably challenging as well. And until next time, happy sewing, and may you never need to be timed on your sewing project because you know what? As much as entertaining it is probably to watch, that wasn't fun. Alrighty guys, I will see you later in the next one. Bye!